GAC's very first film hit 1 million views in just three broadcasts. Does that make GAC the new king of feel-good movies? And where does that leave Hallmark? It looks like the competition is on, and with one fantastic movie after another being released, which network among the two has better ratings? Is it GAC or is it Hallmark? Let's find out. The Hallmark channel used to be the reigning channel for all feel-good movies, until a new channel came into the picture, Great American Media. Bill Abbott, the former CEO of Hallmark, acquired GAC in June 2021, which initially was Great American Country. Soon, the festive season became a stressful season for Hallmark. Hallmark soon started to compete for Christmas viewership, but how far have they been successful? So you might wonder why Abbott left Hallmark to start his own network. Abbott had a go-slow approach to diversifying the network's extremely vanilla programming. We're talking about the time when most OTT platforms were pushing to expand inclusion efforts, which often made Hallmark the subject of pain criticisms even among fans of the channel. Things came to a head in December 2019, when under Abbott's watch, Hallmark Channel pulled advertising that included a lesbian couple, telling the sponsor that an ad showing women in love with each other was a controversial content. The idea that in the second decade of the 21st century, being gay qualified as controversial prompted a massive backlash, and Hallmark Channel's owner, Crown Media Networks, quickly rebuked the actions and reinstated the ad. Abbott left Hallmark the next month. Abbott, however, re-emerged when his team with investment firm Hicks Equity Partners and others to buy two small cable channels, Great American Country and the horse-centric Ride TV. Operating under the banner of GAC Media, the networks have been renamed GAC Family and GAC Living, with the former being positioned as basically Hallmark Channel 2.0. The battle to see which of the stars would push the Hallmark brand forward or which ones would abandon ship to sail with the new channel of Great American Media was much spoken about in the entertainment industry. Abbott and GAC tried to fit their movies to clone Hallmark template. When GAC was launched, the execs started hiring Hallmark execs and cutting deals with Hallmark producers and on-screen talent. Many, if not all of the movies on the channel slate come from Motion Picture Corporation of America, Hollywood vet Brad Crevoy's Made for TV Movie Factory, which has pioneered and perfected the art of cost-efficient seasonal films. Debbie Matinopoulos and Cameron Matherson, ex-hosts of Hallmark's Home and Family talk show, were recruited to tape a special preview of the new movies. Crown for Christmas actress Danica McKellar signed a multi-picture deal with the competition, and that was only the beginning of a long list of actors who decided to follow suit and abandon Hallmark for good. By September, the network had been launched as GAC Family and GAC Living, with Abbott unveiling plans for Great American Christmas, a very Hallmark-esque franchise of Christmas movies. On its website, GAC Media announced that the company's mission was to celebrate great American traditions and invest in timeless, family-friendly entertainment that honors Americana with content that captures American culture, lifestyle, and heritage. And in a press release, Abbott said he hoped the networks would deliver on the promise of safe and entertaining storytelling. Have you observed something here? Abbott was trying to recreate Hallmark Channel DNA. Meanwhile, the Hallmark Channel was looking to become more diverse and inclusive than ever in its programming and exec suites. But in 2022, Hallmark struck back and announced in February that they hit the mark with one of Hallmark Movies and Mysteries franchises, Lacey Chabert. This meant war. Hallmark was all set to regain their position for holiday and feel-good movies. Fast forward to July 2022, the GAC family announced it would premiere its first ever Christmas in July movie event. The channel began airing all new films for their viewers to enjoy, featuring stars such as Days of Our Lives actress Jen Lilly, Beverly Hills 90210 star Jenny Garth, and All My Children actor Cameron Matheson, and the bold types Sam Page. This might have been an exciting moment for the network's viewers, but it added fuel between the GAC channel and Hallmark Fuel. In the last few months, many big names attached to the latter channel like Candace Cameron Bure, Trevor Donovan, and Danica McKellar have deserted Hallmark for better deals with GAC. But the famed movie channel isn't letting this small hiccup slow them down. 
In fact, in February, Crown Media, Hallmark's parent company, secured a multi-picture movie deal with Party of Five alum, Lacey Chabert. Although GAC is pulling out the big guns, fans didn't know how to access this newly minted network. When the July announcement happened, the comment section was flooded with questions. Although there was a setback, GAC turned it around with one of its record-breaking debut Christmas movies. The movie, Destined at Christmas, was the first of 18 original films produced on Great American Family and was launched in 2021 by former Hallmark exec Bill Abbott. The film starred Shay Robbins from Identical Love and Casey Elliott from Retreat to Paradise. According to Christian headlines, Destined at Christmas broke all network rating records. In every key demo, including total households, viewers, women aged 25 to 54, according to the news release. It also topped the Hallmark Movies and Mystery Saturday premiere in the women aged 25 to 54 coverage area, according to the release based on Nielsen data. To give you a better perspective of how phenomenal the reception was, Destined at Christmas in over just three broadcasts was watched by nearly one million viewers. The movie and its rating gave such a boost to the network that they now refer to the holiday season as the Great American Christmas. And then they made an official announcement during a news release. It read, The first weekend of Great American Christmas was the highest rated weekend ever for Great American Family among household and total viewers. Abbott, the president and CEO of Great American Media, the parent company of Great American Family, also celebrated the news on social media. Not all Christmas movies are created equal, he tweeted. We understand better than anybody how to produce quality Christmas movies and that great content wins. Viewers have found that in our hashtag Great American Christmas programming event on hashtag Great American Family. Daniel Leasing, who stars in the upcoming Great American Family movie, Catering Christmas, released in October, believes the network will continue to grow at a rapid pace. Given how Hallmark execs have publicly declared their desire to evolve and how Abbott was not happy with the pace of change at Hallmark, it doesn't seem like a stretch to wonder whether Abbott and his partners are hoping GAC will become a safe harbor for viewers who are not entirely inclusive. However, GAC is pitching in wherever they see a business opportunity and catering to folks who aren't thrilled with Hallmark or Lifetime's effort to be more inclusive. In an interview, Abbott shared the goal of GAC movies, which is and that is being comfortable even in your own with your own self. And you know, I've got so many letters from us at Hallmark about people who would say they'd get off of work and they come. It is impressive that Abbott has been able to do so much so quickly. GAC has a new branding, a holiday slate of first run movies that can be streamed at home or any other cable network or free streamer with soft launches like its first series, When Hope Calls, A Country Christmas, also airing on IMDb TV, all within six months of taking command of the network. Not surprisingly, given how little time there was to promote the rebrand, what GAC Family does not have is a significant audience. Let's take a look at GAC's Much Ado About Christmas, the network's first original for instance. The movie generated just 156,000 viewers within the first week of its broadcast, according to Nielsen data, while The Great Christmas Switch, which was released in November 2021, had just 89,000 viewers within three days of its debut. Worse, among the older skewing adults between ages 25 and 54, that a network such as GAC likely targets, the films averaged just 20,000 viewers. In fairness, these numbers are well above GAC Family's primetime average in early November with reruns of oldies such as Bewitched and I Dream of Genie, which pulled in around 40,000 viewers each night, about 11,000 of whom were in the target age group. But at the same time, Hallmark, which has been ruling the screen for donkey's years, had a totally different reception. The Hallmark premiere of My Christmas Family Tree, which released around the same time as The Great Christmas Switch, brought in 3.3 million viewers, and that's without any of the delayed viewing including the GAC figures. One of the top execs of Hallmark referring to GAC said, they're not a competitor right now. Given how tough it is for all linear cable and broadcast networks to get audiences to pay attention, Abbott faces an uphill battle to draw viewers to check out his offerings. It doesn't help that GAC Family's movies aren't actually exclusive to GAC Family. While the network is the only linear channel playing titles such as 
Much Ado About Christmas, Motion Picture Corporation of America licensed streaming rights to the film to Peacock and IMDb TV, both of which are putting the movies online the same night they run on GAC. And this would largely affect the growth of the network in the long run. Just like how your support will affect the growth of our channel. We look forward to all the love we can receive from you, and the best you can do is give us a big like and share to keep amazing content coming such as this one today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. With that done, let's get back to the video. Despite bumpy ratings, it would be a mistake to assume GAC Family can't dramatically grow between now and next Christmas. The success of networks such as Lifetime, Bounce, UP, TV, and others show it is possible to carve out a niche in the holiday landscape without matching Hallmark's big numbers or even taking away from the Hallmark audience. And while questions about GAC Family stance on diversity might deter a few better-known actors for signing up with the network, most are working actors in search of a paycheck, who probably won't give it a second thought. Abbott could also quash many concerned folks about the GAC family by talking honestly about those worries or simply making movies that reflect the diverse tapestry of America. He said himself that it might take time for the audience to embrace, but it will happen some- so the audience is going to be watching that evolution and how you are opened up to just a different way of thinking about things and doing things. So to answer your question, which network has better ratings? Well, we have presented the facts on the table so you can interpret and decide which network works best for you. It's clear that although they have similar theme, the two networks are striving real hard to put out exclusive content for their viewers. And there is a particular show that's coming up which might just change the future of GAC forever. We'll be back with the latest updates soon enough. Meanwhile, what are your thoughts on the two rival networks ratings? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.